A sound is sweeping across the nation. And it's somewhat hard to hear. You'll have to listen closely. Cup your hand against your ear. You hear it at the end of ladder, in banana and galah. In didgeridoo and barbecue, it's the great Australian schwa. It's not the er you hear in bird, it's the er at the end of farmer. And if you still can't hear it, well, let's try a little harder. If you open up a dictionary and look for how to make the sound, it's in the phonetic alphabet, little e that's upside down. It can be the first sound like above, ahead, echidna. It can also be the final sound like koala, pizza, dinner. Or you can find it in the middle, as in crocodile or fountain, in helmet, or in cannon, or in iron, or in mountain. If you can't tell words have schwa's in them, don't yell or cry or growl. Just break them into syllables. Each must contain a vowel. And if the vowel is hard to hear compared to those around it, it's probably a schwa sound. Thank goodness that you found it. And when the vowel is barely there, like a distant twinkling star, well, that little sound has got a name. The Great Australian Schwa. Of all the sounds in English, it's the most common one by far. Not e or oo or ow or ah, uh, it's all about the schwa. So stand tall and proud, Australia, and proclaim it wide and far. There's just one sound that we love most, the great Australian schwa.